It's the Brewmans. We are back at you with a one of a kind, a first of a kind for us. He is Mike Russell. I am Rob Hunter. This gentleman right here is Greg Hildebrandt, and he is a famous artist. So he is here in Phoenix, where we live, to be part of the Barrett Jackson auction because he sells his artwork there and people buy it because he's famous for pinups, but he's also famous for other things too. But let's start, Greg, if you don't mind. Tell us about your pinup art that you do here at Barrett Jackson. Well, I paint pinup girls, which are more retro, like the stuff that I grew up on in, in the 40s with Gil Elvgren and, and Alberto Vargas. And they're mainly girls with cars or planes or, you know, any kind of a, a automobile, a moving device of some kind. Mm -hmm. and, and Rob has I, a Honda Accord with like 300,000 miles on it. Is that yeah. kind of what yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah, into? I, yeah, I, I painted a couple of hard girls on Harley. <laughs> See? Yeah, same, same. <laughs> so as a matter of fact, I've had at the show, the pictures, that is. Nice. And I have original art there, my paintings, and I have uh, metal signs that we print on, all my paintings on, pinup girls. And G. Clay's collectible, more high-quality prints. And mm -hmm. I sell original drawings also. So that's what, they, but they're they're more. I can't say it. They're not like what can I say, hustler type pinups. Right. You understand they're me? They're classy. They're more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually wondering, will you will you paint him as a pinup? Mike. Well, I, yeah. Jeez. I Look at this. I'm like, I mean, sucking your gun a little not. bit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I already have <laughs> the moves. <laughs> So I think we're okay with that. Might have the chest. Yeah. Might have the chest for it. <laughs> yeah. So now you have an amazing story that started with it was sort of prior to, but I think most commonly known is your story starting with Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So you started with the Lord of the Rings calendar when was 1976. It? Okay. But before that, the way I got that job, okay. uh, uh, Tim and I were uh, uh, doing art. My, I had a twin brother. He, he died 10 years ago. We worked together on everything since we were little kids. But we had, had illustrated everything in New York City down to a toilet training book. Which what I, was that like? Let me ask you about that. Very dull and very boring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the kids sit on the potty. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Draw what the, was that like? Yeah. Well, everyone would be like, you're sitting there drawing it. Like, all right, I'll just draw right. a kid on the toilet and go, exactly. okay, I'm done. Yeah. But the pediatricians <laughs> doing the book were so stick. All the hands yeah. had to be in the oh right positions. Uh, it was crazy. We said, I'm, I'm sick of this crap. So let's go on and do something better. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we want to do movie posters. So we, uh, no, this is, I'm jumping ahead. I'm, uh, okay. We, Jump we, around. We went to Valentine Books, who was doing The Lord of the Rings. Okay, they printed the Lord of the Rings in this country from mm -hmm. the Ellen and Unwin estate, and they were looking for artists to do uh, paintings of, of the rings that wanted to interpret it. So Tim and I responded to the ad that they put out, and we went to Ian Summers, the art director's office, and he, they gave us the job. So we did the first uh, poster in 75, which was printed for a 76 calendar, and that kind of like put us on a map and gave us a global fandom. And I this. looked at one of the images that you and your brother did of them, and if you look at Gandalf, it looks like the Gandalf from the movie. It does. And if you look at the, the, you know. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well you, hey, maybe well, round two. I, yeah, okay, round yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, round two. Okay, so from there, now we're at 76. We know that that is about the time Star Wars is coming out, but you kind of had dabbled in the movie posters prior to that, right? Yeah, well, here, I, I'd been in, uh, I'd done in, been in industrial art of, of filmmaking uh, since I was 18 years old. I had done animation, I'd done live action photography, I'd done some documentary filmmaking. But as far as movie posters, oh, no big deal. you know, <laughs> short resume. I dabbled. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff. It, it, but I'm, I'm all over the place. I like to do all kinds of stuff. But uh, the, the Star Wars posters came about by the virtue of the fact of after that toilet training book, we got kind of like sick of that kind of artwork. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Of the toilet art. Yeah, Time to toilet. expand. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do something else. It's a growing else. sector, but still, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go after movie posters, Tim and I say. Well, you could open the yellow pages back in the day and say, hmm, there's a John and Murray movie posters, little company. Call them up. The guy would answer the phone. And they'd say, yeah, come on in, bring your portfolio. Mm -hmm. You could actually do that in the day. Nice. And this would be 1977 or so, 76. And uh, we went in and we saw uh, around this guy's office were all these uh, posters for young Frankenstein. This, oh, was, not, this was like yes. 73. I'm jumping mm -hmm. ahead. Drunken I'm getting yeah. my, my time frames okay. all screwed yeah. up. This is 73. So all these posters for young Frankenstein paintings were all around the place. Okay. And I said to the guy, well, we got to do one. And he said, the, 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 uh, the job is done. There's no more money. And they're being shipped out to Mel Brooks in the morning. So we can't. That's all the time you have. I said, I don't care. Let's do one. So they gave us a bunch of 8 by 10 glossies. Tim and I went home and did a poster overnight. Mm -hmm. and back in the day, we were drinking. So we had a case of beer with us. And sure. We just there you go. Yeah. Get beer, creative. And yeah. we painted young Frankenstein mm -hmm. and then brought that back in. They, look, long story short, they didn't use the poster. This was 73, but they remembered us 
fast work, uh, the fast work we could do. Mm -hmm. And in 76, then, when Star Wars coming out, they called us and said, hey, we have this science fiction movie. These guys hadn't even seen the film yet, right? Yeah, so just a bunch of space company. wizards with yeah. sticks they, they, and whatnot. They, right. Yeah, they didn't yeah. know. Yeah. So they're, 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 they said, we need a poster. The, the, uh, the director doesn't like the poster that he has, so we, we need a, a poster right away. So we went in, got the job. It was the Lord of the Rings poster. We, we, we did it in 36 hours. 36 hours. Brought it back in, and boom, the rest of what is history, as they say. We got this swept up into this mania of yeah. Star Wars. With, That's great. And you had no idea. I had no like, idea. Oh, I, I, I didn't know, know what it was. Poster. I didn't yeah. know what it was. And it's every kid now, like everybody yeah. that's our age knows it, and now Mike's kids know it. It's yep. the yes. famous image where Luke, who doesn't really look like Luke, more right. than that in a second, who has the lightsaber kind of up right. like this, yep. and then here's his sister Leia next to him, which didn't at quite the time we, don't, we didn't know was the it sister. Was, so why, you just did this as a rush job. Well, it was, like, like I say, literally 36 hours. Yeah. It was, but when we left there with all these photos, they gave us a bunch of okay. glossies and, you know, and everything. They said, look, don't worry about likenesses on the okay. two principles because mm -hmm. nobody knows who they are. Right. Oh, so right. It it wasn't, yeah. Yeah, they didn't care. Mark you know Hamill, nobody yeah. knew who Mark Nobody knows Hamill. who they are. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, you don't, boom, we just. Yeah, you got the in. hair color right, but yep. you had the rush job. And yep. it got, so it, yep. was, it, was there other, and yours got picked, or was it like you're the only one that it was, better be good? That was it. That was it right there. Nice. Cool. And the rest yeah. is history. Yeah, yeah I, it was crazy. And so uh, the mania, you can't remember, it, it was insane. We got just pulled up into this craziness, you know? And what was and that the, like? What was that uh, like? It was, it was fantastic. It was, the phone's ringing. We want jobs. Everybody wanted you to imitate Star Wars then. Sure. You, know, you wanted oh, yeah. all kinds of space stuff and everything. Right. It was great. He's pinning me as Han Solo next, so we'll be good. Great Hill to Red. <laughs> you can catch him. You can catch him at Barrett Jackson Auto Auction right here in Phoenix, uh, right here in Scottsdale, excuse me. And uh, you can go check out all of his art. Art, all of this, a lot of it's there for sale and a lot yep. of your great stuff, and you'll be painting live as well. Thank you Very so cool. much. It's sure, a really great pleasure meeting oh, you. Man. Did the Star Wars book. That's right, guys. Great Gilbert. His website yep. is right down here. You can check it out as well. He's Rob Hunter. I'm Mike Russell. Until next time, cheers.